interesting comp here with Hollibur and Finisier only with White Lily Frost Queen. Uh, so we'll see how this one goes. All right, and here comes the one minute mark. First damage, and everybody is gone. Good thing we have the buffer uh, immunity from Finisier for White Lily. Not a problem. Let's finish it off. Come on. And there we go. It's finished right here with White Lily. All right, guys. So the long-awaited arena comp video is back here, guys. Sorry that I haven't been posting much about the arena, but here we go. I just wanted to share one of the best teams right now inside of the arena, and I'm sure you guys have already seen it, uh, you know, it, all around YouTube and uh, probably around in the arena as well. If you guys were wondering what exactly toppings. Uh, people are using i wanted to share the ones that have been working really really well for me personally and uh the biscuit substats and things like that you should be looking out for uh because you know in the arena right now with the biscuit there's a lot of different substats and little uh you know additions and minuses that you will see uh within comps so let's go over it together and i gotta say this is probably one of the best teams all overall team that you guys can probably use right now inside of the arena to climb uh, for your rank. All right, starting off with Elder Fairy. Let me talk about the toppings first before we go into the biscuit. Uh, so we have five of the Swift Chocolate for uh, Elder Fairy here. Uh, the reason why is because you want to keep on using the skill to add the prism uh, to your team. And uh, we have uh, focusing on the damage resist here. Uh, around 25% is recommended uh, just because Elder Fairy is not using Solid Almond. He's going to taunt. He's going to take a lot of damage. And then, of course, the cooldown uh recommended is around 20 percent plus uh it's going to be better to allow him to use the skill again a lot faster extra healing extra damage resist you know extra buffs and things like that uh so that's the reason why we have that and then um extra substats if you guys are looking for some extra hp is actually really really good right now inside of the arena because of the fact that there's a lot of damage resist bypass as well as defense all right so uh hp and defense are the two substats that are going to help out uh, a lot with tanks especially all right and then in the biscuit if possible uh you know you at least need one hp substat if if you can two is pretty good too and then one cooldown one damage is this uh is pretty darn good as well all right uh so of course it depends but i would recommend at least one hp uh and one cooldown and uh if possible add in the damage resist uh you know it, it kind of is a little harder to find all the uh you know basic stuff substats for the uh biscuits because you know you have to reset 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 and then once you get something that's good but you have the third or third or the fourth one uh wrong you have to you know reset with the radiant one it costs a lot so just keep that in mind i would say if you have to hp and a little extra cooldown or hp and damage resist and then you know go with it if you have to because you don't have the biscuit dose to reset or anything like that all right next one is going to be hollowberry hollowberry is going to be so using five of the solid almond around. She is going to be the main tank for our team. Use that damage focus, taking all the damage so that Financier as well as uh, Elder Fairy don't die, as well as White Lily. All right. Uh, so we have five solid almond. Uh, recommended at least 45% damage resist if possible. If not, like around 40%, it's pretty good too. And then cooldown around 6% is good. And then, of course, extra substats like HP and defense will definitely help out. For the, uh, you know, biscuit, I would say extra damage resist is pretty darn good. If you can get some extra, you know, uh, cooldown as well, not bad idea. And then, of course, extra HP and other uh, stats that are going to help out in her survivability. Like debuff resist, like damage resist, like defense, HP. Those are all going to be really, really good. Crit resist is not bad either. I just wanted to let you guys know. But yeah, around damage resist, um, you know, any of those. Hollowberry doesn't have a specific, like, subset you got to really, really focus on. Uh, just say, if you don't have a little bit of extra cooldown on your, uh, you know, almond uh, with toppings, then extra cooldown for, uh, from the biscuit is going to definitely help out. So, Finisier, I am not upgrading Finisier's Magic Candy to level 30. Uh, just because, you know, um, I wanted to make it a little bit more tangible at least the one that i'm showing you a little bit more tangible to you guys you know having everything at 30 and maxed out uh nowadays is a little harder for everybody to achieve so um i'm keeping it at 20 um and then so our toppings five swift chocolate here and then uh something that you want to focus on is around 20 to 25 percent damage resist if possible and then cool down if you can around 20 to 22 percent all right um 
maximum is 22 plus but uh, i would say 20 to 22 percent is going to be also not bad extra defense helps out of course and then extra hp also does help out and then for the biscuit i have um I, I got pretty lucky with this one i just went with all damage resist again you can go with uh, an extra cooldown as well especially if you need more extra cooldown from the uh subsets of your topping is just lacking uh then extra cooldown extra damage resist extra defense also does help out in fitness here as well the main damage dealer is going to be our white lily all right so white lily needs to use five of the searing raspberry the reason why we're not going with the chocolate is because with uh white lily with three tanks in front you're not going to be able to use skill any faster than what you're using with uh five searing raspberry so we're going to go with this main damage burst them down and uh you know just nuke the enemies we want to focus on damages this around 20 to 25 percent uh, your elder fairy as well as fitness here and hollow are going to do really really well in actually allowing white lily to survive but you know you still want some damage resist uh so damage resist and a cooldown at least four percent uh it's around the time where white lily will be able to use her skill at that one minute mark or at least the blossom when it bursts it will uh go at the one minute mark and then for attack the highest you could get is going to be really really good i've seen people get even above like 59 58 percent i'm not that that's crazy all right um and then the biscuit i would say extra cooldown and damages is, is good i have seen people with like damages is bypassed damages is bypassed i think that's also really really good as well uh but i'm just gonna be going with this one as of right now uh and the last one is going to be our snapdragon so snapdragon is using five of the switch chocolate all right and then we're gonna be maxing out on the cooldown no damages of course and then uh extra attack speed and crit also helps out our biscuit is going to be focusing on extra cooldown so if you can get cooldown to the max that's really really good um if not you know it's not gonna be a deal breaker or anything like that and then the treasures are going to be the scroll as well as the jelly watch and whistle all right so here we go guys let me show you guys this team in action um and yeah i'll show you guys all the different teams that this is able to beat as well as one counter as well later all right guys so starting off with the crimson coral comp here let's go it's the crimson coral uh you know triple dps here all right so you can see right here you know our white lily barely took any damage because of all the damage focus the prism damage uh resist uh, we have finisher shield and healing uh so really really tanky here guys the triple dps is back or i mean not the triple dps triple tank is back triple dps actually just got melted from the other team uh but white lily and elder fairy really making this uh you know triple tank uh white lily hyper carry team uh become a reality um here all right so here you guys go and white lily doing all the damage you know elder fairy not doing uh bad damage either two million so there you guys go with uh the triple tank all right guys here's another comp this one's another triple kind of tank healer as well as the two dps is here with golden cheese and frost queen all right so here we go all right so again uh we're gonna have the uh damage uh focus and then the taunt so elder fairy takes a shot instead of uh, white lily here from golden cheese not even the one minute uh and we are almost killing that uh golden cheese oh well we did kill that golden cheese and that one minute mark comes out um but not a problem uh because white lily is here to wipe off every uh enemy in the other team like white lily burst damage at that one minute mark is actually insane like goodness gracious 16 million coming out from white lily um and wow five million coming out from elder fairy as well all right guys so this one seems like uh i want to say a tr triple uh healer slash tank with the uh the paper charm uh with frost queen and white lily so we're gonna still go up against it uh usually uh the paper charm it really depends on your white lily damage so here we go all right yep so it is the triple uh tank slash healer with the uh, white lily frost queen so this one is really just gonna come down to whether your white lily is gonna be able to burst down the enemies uh fast and here comes the one minute mark uh soon 
It's going to be a little delayed because of the uh, enemy White Lily, but here we go. We got rid of their White Lily, but our White Lily died as well. So, um, again, the, uh, the the Paper Charm team, it co comes down again uh, down to whether your White Lily is able to do the damage or not. Um, this time around for us, we couldn't, um, and you know the Paper Charm really affected uh, Elder Fairy, who was supposed to tank uh, for... Uh, White Lily as well with the extra buff. So here's a Cranberlay comp, guys. Uh, let's go. And here we go. This is gonna be an Elder Fairy uh, Cranberlay comp instead of the uh, Burnt Cheese here. All right. So that means no damage focus uh, for Cranberlay. Don't know how that how well this one works out. I haven't really tried it uh, too much. I haven't tested it out too much, but boom, there it goes that one minute mark and. Everybody is dead except for the tanks on the team. And even the tanks fly away. Uh, White Lily just absolutely destroying the enemies right here, guys. All right, guys. So a variation of a comp that you guys want to stay away from is going to be something like the Revel Burnt Cheese One-Shot Comp. All right. So the reason why is because it's going to kind of burst away your Elder Fairy super early. And then your White Lilies. And then you lose the, the game or the, the arena battle. All right. So here we go, guys. You're going to be able to see uh, the Paper Charm comes out, the Rebel comes out, and then it's going to really just burst away that Elder Fairy super, super quickly. And then uh, once that happens, you know, White Lily is basically vulnerable. And then you're going to see White Lily die off as well. All right, so uh, you want to try to stay away from the uh, Rebel one-shot comp. This is not even fully set properly, and it's still beating the team. Uh, so something you want to kind of keep in mind, if you see a Paper Charm it with, like, you know, two tank uh, and no jelly launch with uh, burnt cheese kind of showing, uh, then you want to kind of stay away from it because you will mostly uh, lose. Uh, so you don't want to risk it. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the comp here, guys. Um, I am using this to climb right now as well. Um, I am going to actually show you guys the starters comp as well later, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, because starters is coming back uh, to counter Elder Fairy as well as kind of White Lily. Uh, we have seen it happen with uh, White Lily, uh, but because we had like fettuccine and uh, other cookies that kind of taunted. But with Elder Fairy, who is actually really, really vulnerable to that Stardust, uh, you know, sign of the star debuff. We're going to uh, see how the effective that is, and then I'll show you guys that team uh, tomorrow as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think, and I will catch you guys all on the next one.